Hi everyone, it's Nicole for Simon Says Stamp with some layered ephemera cards featuring the June 2023 card kit called Etched Greetings. Everything on my cards today comes from the kit, so let's get started. I'm going to start by unboxing the kit. You get an awesome mesh bag. I love those mesh bags. Obviously the wonderful ephemera kit from Tim Holtz a reverse sentiment strip sheet, as well as toner sheets, a die, foam adhesive, an envelope, these beautiful Crafters Companion Delightful Daisies pattern papers, also gonna be the stars of the show here, the wonderful etched greetings six by eight clear stamp set, a gold matte sheet of cardstock, a sheet of vellum, and a sheet of desert storm cardstock. I always love to just bust out the ephemera packs if I'm working with a kit that has this. And what I always do when I open up the kit is I kind of sort everything out. And I lay it all out and I start to kind of look at it and think, what do I like together? What of these pieces can I see combining together to create really fun, more mixed media type of card designs, but still have a very beautiful and cohesive card. Obviously, a lot of these big panels I love. Um, the birds and that egg background, that encyclopedia background. I also love the floral backgrounds up in the top of the screen, even though I didn't use them. All of the leaves are some of my favorites. The bird's nest, oh, I love these little bird cards. I didn't use them, but I really liked those too. But I really just kind of look at it all and think what goes together. Oh, and the mushrooms. The mushrooms are darling, and I didn't use those on these cards either, so I'll have to use those on something else. Then I loved the butterflies. There ends up being these two butterflies, and I think that they will work really nice together on one of the backgrounds. Next, I picked out three different papers from the Delightful Daisies 6x6 paper pad. And I'm gonna go ahead and trim those down to four by five and a quarter. Now off camera, I did kind of group together the components that I'm going to use on each background with each pattern paper. And I'm gonna lay the extra little strips of paper off to the side. Then I'm going to take my Simon Says Stamp glass mat and either ground espresso or gathered twigs distress ink and direct to paper, just grunge up those edges a little bit. Uh, not a lot, but very easily just kind of add a little bit of that grungy look. They already are grunged up quite a bit. Then I'm going to start layering it together, the different components. On each of my cards here today, I had intended to layer a cup, couple of the bigger elements, as you saw me do here, and then I'm going to kind of frame it all up with additional leaves, birds, butterflies, all of that good stuff. I do think on the final card, I end up not doing that. So once I have my background components, I am going to go ahead and center that and adhere it to the background. Then we're gonna add leaves around there. It kind of softens it up a little bit. Love that. Some of that will need to be trimmed away. I will add some butterflies to this first background and I'm going to pop those up with foam adhesive. One of my go-tos when working with pre-made items like ephemera are to pop them up with foam adhesive, add glitter, add anything you can to make it your own. So foam adhesive is my favorite here, just gives some nice depth and dimension. I'm gonna grab a white top fold card base from my stash and I'm going to go ahead and glue my background down and then trim away the excess paper or um, ephemera that hangs off of the sides. And once I have that, you can even save those little leaves if you want to and tuck them around the edges. I opted not to today, but that is something I like to do as well. So let's grab our next background. I actually worked on these one at a time after I had laid out what I thought I was, was going to go together. And that way it allowed me to kind of keep it all the way I had laid it out. Again, grunging up those edges with a Distress ink pad, 
These mini ones are fantastic for that. Layering my two bigger ephemera pieces where one kind of um, is layered to the right or to the right, <laughs> to the left of the other one, the focal point one. Now this time we're gonna have a bird nest um, and a couple of birds that are gonna be featured. And of course they coordinate beautifully with this bird or um, egg card. And again, popping up our bird nest, pop up the bird, and then we're gonna frame up this top right corner with a couple of leaves and an additional bird. So gluing some of it directly down and then popping the rest of it up. The Simon Says Stamp Foam Squares are perfect for this. And remember, you do get a sheet of those in your kit and I always have them on hand because they are one of my very favorite things to use when card making. Oh, isn't that pretty? I love the birds. There's lots of birds in this, this pack. And again, we're going to glue this onto our card base and trim off anything excess, extra, pardon me. The tip or some sharp point of a tool is great for pulling off the backing paper off your adhesive or foam tape. Now I did notice that I didn't quite like where my bird is, so I did pop it off and move it down. I didn't want to cut any of its head off. That's why I made that choice. Let's work on our last one now. Same thing, trim to four by five and a quarter, grunge up the edges, and then add all of our components. Now for this one, I actually picked this large background and then this smaller like library card, and it really didn't need it. My initial piece is much bigger than I had anticipated. I didn't really, I should have laid it out again, but I didn't notice it. So when I go to layer them, it's taking up way too much of the background. And I really, I tried a couple of times and I finally decided this is silly. Let's just stay with this one card. So I can save the library card for another project. We're gonna layer together a flower and some leaves for the bottom left corner of this one glued directly to the background, tucking these two large eggs kind of down here near the base. And then our final bird image on the branch is going to be in the upper right corner and that one will be popped up with foam adhesive. Now once we have all of the guts or the bases of our cards created and you could do even more than this with the components that come in the kit, you would really be able to create a lot of cards uh, just with the ephemera from the kit and the pattern paper. I am going to go ahead and die cut my large fancy thanks greeting. You also get this die in the kit. I'm going to trim it apart with some wire snips scissors. And then in the kit, you get vellum and you get the gold matte cardstock and you get full sheets of both of these. So again, you could die cut a lot of greetings from these papers. I am going to die cut the fancy thanks word from the gold matte cardstock and die cut the shadow from vellum. We're gonna do this for each of our cards. Just look how pretty those backgrounds look. Then I'm going to use my reverse tweezers from Simon Says Stamp to hold on to my die cut while I put some liquid glue on the back and glue that beautiful gold matte greeting to the vellum shadow. The vellum shadow is just going to help make that greeting pop off of a pretty busy background while still allowing you to look through that to see the pretty elements in the background. We're going to do this for each of these. Now I did find placing an acrylic block or something flat and heavy on top to hold down those greetings on the vellum while they dried was really helpful. Vellum does tend, all paper, but vellum especially has a tendency to like to curl up a little bit with liquid glue. So I highly recommend that. Next, I am going to take the reverse thanks sentiment strip paper that you get in the kit and the gold foil sheets. And we are going to start heating up our mini mink machine. Um, this the Mini Mink I'm using today is the brand new Pink and Main Mini Mink Machine. Super cute, bright pink, 
and I absolutely love it. So it was perfect when I pulled out the June kit. I kind of like to heat mine on either three or four. I opted to go with four today and it was just perfect. Now, instead of foiling the whole sheet, which you could absolutely do, the Simon Says Stamp uh, sentiment strip sheets are printed with a laser are printed with toner ink, pardon me. So they are perfect for foiling. I decided to just cut out the greetings I wanted to save some of my foil and maybe I want to foil the other greetings with a different color. So I just opted to foil only the greetings that I'm going to use for my cards today. I'm picking three sentiments that work with the thanks that I just die cut and once I have that down in my machine is all heated up, I am going to place them in the carrier sheet. And I do want to trim all of these. You could use your scissors, but I went ahead and trimmed them all up <laughs> with my paper trimmer. So the green light is on. It's ready to go. Let's grab one of the deco foil sheets from the pack. These are the foil transfer sheets and our carrier sheet that goes with our pink and main mini mink. You want to place your foil sheet in the carrier sheet and don't mind my carrier sheet it looks a little bad but it's going to work perfect and you want to foil with the dull side so the gold pretty side the side the color it's going to be is not next to the toner printed image and i just ran mine through upside down because that worked fine but you can flip it and do it the other way now when I pull it out, I do wanna give my sentiments just a minute to cool. They're gonna be a little warm when you pull them out of here. And then when you peel them off, you are left with beautiful foiled greetings. I want to foil everything. I love heat foiling. It's one of my favorite things to do. Let's move our mini mink out of the way. I am now ready to attach my sentiments and finish my cards. I'm gonna take my liquid adhesive and hiding it back behind applying only the glue on the vellum that is behind the gold matte cardstock. And then I'm gonna attach each of these kind of to the center of each of my cards. Really just exactly what I did before, but we wanna hide it so it doesn't um, show through that vellum. And then I'm just gonna to try to center these. For added interest, I opted to attach my sentiment strip kind of shifted over to the right. That nice, pretty, swirly loop from the H that goes under the letter A is really the perfect little kind of segue into adding your sentiment strip. Oh my gosh, you guys, look how beautiful that is. I absolutely love it. So even cards that are created with lots of pre-made elements can be made super special and, and handmade by all those little finishing touches like the gold matte cardstock, vellum, foiling your sentiment strips, so many great little things. So let's go ahead and add this, add the rest of our greetings. I did pop up my sentiment strips with foam. One of my favorite things is a large die cut or stamped greeting with a little sentiment strip. It just is the perfect little chef's kiss, if you will, to finish up a card design. Now you do get a beautiful envelope included in the kit. You might want to pick up some additional ones to match if you want to, but I absolutely love how this looks. I hope you guys love the Simon Says Stamp June 2023 card kit called Etched Greetings. Let's take a look at all three finished cards. Beautiful shine, lots of fun ephemera, and gorgeous pattern papers. This kit is sure to be one that you absolutely love. Don't forget that for your convenience, the supplies I used are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye! Hi there, I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. 
If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.